Greetings, my little snakes. This is the Dark Lord's Hour, and I am your host and Lord Voldemort. I'm back. The rumors are true, my dear listeners. Your Dark Lord and Savior is back and ready to lead you once more. As we haven't infiltrated the ministry enough just yet, for now this will be our little secret to keep. Gone are the days of despair and longing, my dear listeners. And this exclusive radio show that goes out to you, my little snakes, will keep us in contact and keep you up to date with your most beloved lord until I can claim the rule that should have been mine from the start. Now, I can assure you that those responsible for the problems at the graveyard have been violently punished, and luckily it was only an unsupportive but devilishly handsome young boy that died. Even from the one second I glanced at him, it was obvious to tell only a fool would think he would make a good Death Eater. So there was really no loss there. I, for one, was not harmed at all. So we will rise above it soon enough, my little snakes. Now, it has been some time since I have been an individual and self-sustained life form. And during that time, it appears that there have been some changes around the wizarding community, my little snakes. It is therefore probably best we look at these changes together and decide if they're for the better or for worse. So you can know what your Dark Lord advises you to purchase as a loyal pureblood consumer. Now, seeing as it is summer and I have always had a sweet tooth, what better place to start than with the new ice cream flavor at Florian Fortescue's Ice Cream Parlor. This limited edition line includes Dragonfire Chili Chocolate, Popping Pink Pixie Dust, Silver Shimmering Unicorn Blood and Vanilla. The new ice cream line is described by our own Draco here as rather scrumptious. Now your Dark Lord shall of course be the judge of that, my little snakes. Hmm, let's see what have we here. Dragonfire, Pixie, ah, the silvery shimmering unicorn blood flavor. I believe that this is the only one worth trying from here, my little snakes. Unless you count in the older flavors too, obviously. Chocolate and raspberry being a personal favorite of yours truly. <laughs> ah, there we go. The lid is off. Now, I should note that all the ice creams in front of me have been topped with hundreds and thousands. Anything else would just be uncivilized. Of course, such ice cream habits should be publicly shamed. Now, for a taste. Why, this doesn't taste like unicorn blood at all, my dear snakes. They have certainly become rather light-handed with their flavors. Let me check the ingredients. No, that appears to be not even the slightest bit of unicorn blood in this, my little snakes. Well, I suppose unicorns are endangered, so it would technically be illegal, but what inconsiderate and crudely false advertisement, my dear snakes. It is with great certainty that I can tell you that Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlor's new flavors are not endorsed by your Dark Lord, though the chocolate raspberry is still rather good. Shame on you, Florian! What a disappointment you are to the wizarding community! Now, 
How about a word from our sponsor while I go wash this foul taste out of my mouth? Spiders, we have them. Children, they eat them. Buy a spider from size 7 or up and get rid of any unwanted children in your neighborhood or amongst nearest relations. Half price this week if you bring in a mouse tail. That was a word from our dear sponsors over at Cop and Webs and Nocturne Alley. What a bargain! Now I believe it is time for what I believe would be my personal favorite segment of this show, my little snakes. Voldemail is what I've called it. And this is your opportunity to write and ask for my intelligent and most welcome advice. Someone has written to us today, my good listeners. How productive of you, my little snakes. Writing in even before you knew it was a possibility. Good on you. Next time, maybe you shouldn't leave them around Draco's room. And then I, then I can't find them if you leave them around in the mess. But yeah, now to the letter found in Draco's room. Someone wrote, Dear Diary, instead of Dearest Darkest Lord. But I'll oversee that. So, Dearest Darkest Lord, what do you do when you can't get a boy out of your head? I can't stop thinking about this one ebony-haired boy. Kind regards, D.M. Well, dear D.M., I know exactly what, how and why you're thinking what you're thinking. And let me be the first to tell you that it's completely understandable. Now. My dear snakes, what I think happened is that this DM has seen a picture of me when I was younger. I know how these have been circulating amongst you for some time. And might I just say that you cannot be blamed at all for not being able to get my image out of your head. After all, I was a rather strapping young man. However, try spending some of your time each day thinking about how you can help your Dark Lord succeed instead of just admiring his immense beauty. And you shall do just fine. It appears it is time for our pure bloodling fun corner for all my special and even smaller little snakes listening. Now, the magical creature Valdi will teach you about today, my tiniest snakes, is a real beast. The werewolf. The werewolf has two known forms. One is a human appearance, and one is more of a big wolf. But what is common for both of these is that is always a beast. Werewolves are savages, sexually deviant and less intelligent than wizards and are, for my personal experience with Fenrir encounters, always far smellier than most wizards, which gives them away even in their human-like form. No werewolf has any purpose intelligence or dedication beyond that of its beastly instincts and it simply shocks me to hear that one of these beasts has been teaching at Hogwarts recently. As laughable as you and I might find the situation, my dear snakes, it goes to show what a horrible state our society is in. This would not happen under your favorite lord's watch, my littlest snakes. I, for one, value your education very highly. Now, 
What should happen to these beasts, my little snakes? Well, let Voldy tell you. While they certainly are lesser than us, and while I will happily have them shunned from society, they are also, in general, strong and dangerous. This, combined with their less-than-average intelligence, makes them useful for us, as they can help pave the way to my destiny with brute force. Sure, a person or two might die because we are affiliating with them. Perhaps even one of you, my little snakes. But this is a prize that I am, and you should also be willing to pay for my success. So, if you do see a werewolf coming towards you, my little snakes, try to make it go after Muggle Child instead. These are equally tasty to the werewolf and far less important to us. That was all on this week's magical creature, the werewolf. Now, I believe this is all we have time for this time, my little snakes. Goodbye and stay feisty and mildly poisonous until next time. Bye. Thank you for listening. The Dark Lords Hour podcast is a fan-made Harry Potter parody created by the Pixie Bogus. Do you want to find out more, or do you simply prefer to look rather than listen now that touch and smell are out of the question? Then head on over to youtube.com slash pixiebogus.